uh, train expert amongst us and he's going to uh, open my eyes and your eyes hopefully to uh, the history. So away you go son. Yeah so what used to run along here I mean you probably can't really see it apart from the, the tunnel we've got behind us here but the actual track bed it used to be one single line that used to run out of the tunnel behind us and down the hill here. It's quite a, quite a distinct slope down that way towards Oxford in that direction. The next meaningful station would be Oxford, but there was also uh, a halt here at Horse Path itself. There was a halt for the uh, Morris Cowley works. There was also one at Littlemore, um, several others as well in that direction. But it used to be a almost like a, it was an extra line in a way. It was towards the end of its life. It was only used as a, uh, freight trains overnight, the occasional passenger service, and, and it did eventually get closed. And this section now has, as you can probably tell, if there's no trains here, is now it's now closed. Uh, the only part of the line now that is still open. If you go a bit further down here, you get to the BMW mini plant, and that is where the line now ends because BMW still use that that part of the line to transport to transport their own cars. So. That is a little bit of the history about this line, really. William's got an interesting view, though, on uh, building new railway lines and potentially is better than, for the environment than cars. Do you want to tell me more about that? Yeah, I think it's, all, it's not just a matter of building it. I mean, actually building anything is going to have some impact on, on the environment. I mean, these days, they, the impact is less, as lessened as possible. You know, you want to be as green as possible when you're building something. It's more when the actual thing is built. A road will be continuously used, so there's continuous pollution, localised pollution, be it actual air pollution or noise pollution. Whereas a railway doesn't necessarily have that pollution, especially now latter days with, with electric trains. You don't really have that localised pollution. It also doesn't seem to form the same barrier as a road does for nature. A road can really form a very much a... A barrier, a line in the sand, as it were, so you can't actually, the animals will refuse to cross it because, of course, they, they get killed if they get hit by a, on a very busy road. Whereas a railway can often act as a green corridor. I mean, this disused railway here actually is obviously a green corridor, but even active railways, even the most active railways in the countryside, will still act as, a, as, a, as some form of green corridor. I know the o railway through Oxford does do that. I have seen many creatures and many animals in my time walking around the railways in Oxford, really. Thank you.